If I don't have none to cook, I have cereal. I don't know if it's easier to eat cereal. Well, it is easier, but uh, I, I don't know. I have, I have cereal every morning for breakfast, and uh, then Meals on Wheels comes at lunchtime, and then it depends how I feel at night, if I'm going to cook or not. Or have something, or just have another bowl of cereal. Bart Rocco is not starving. He has fresh fruit in his refrigerator, and he showed me four or five frozen dinners and some pancakes in the freezer. There was cereal, but otherwise the quality and quantity of his supply of food left a lot to be desired. You would say it was barely enough to live off. Fortunately, he's visited five days a week by Meals on Wheels. I met Bart the day I rode the West End route of Meals on Wheels driver Link Lincoln. How did you choose to do this? I didn't choose it. It came to me. It's so funny because I was dropping my nephew off at the Coca-Cola company. And I took the side street, and then I went down to, I couldn't go down no more, so which I said, take the left or right. Something said, take the left, I took a left, on the corner of my eye, I seen the Meals on Wheels. I said, wow, let me ask them if they need a driver. So I went inside, and, and that was history. That's how I started. Do you remember your first deliveries, and, and what it was like to see the faces as you... I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect because I was raised up in a little bit of prejudice and, uh, and going to people that don't know you, you, you never expect anything to happen, you know, but, you know. But um, I was surprised of the welcome I got. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, tomorrow. Do you feel like they look forward to your visit just uh, as much as the food sometimes? Uh, yeah, they do. I, don't, I think they want to talk more than anything. Because uh, some of them are very lonely. So you're a good man? A very good man. Find yeah. out why more people switch to Cox. Yeah. How long have you known Link? Right by a year, two years. You look forward to seeing him every day? Every day. And what would you do without these meals? Go hungry. I asked you, you know, if Meals on Wheels didn't come by, what, what would you do? And you said, I'd be hungry. You kind of smiled when you said it, but you were... Well, it, it, it's kind of true, you know, because I, uh, I, I don't like cooking for myself. It, it's very difficult to cook for one person. So some days, Meals on Wheels at lunch and cereal, those are your two big meals. Right. right. A little bit of snacking? <laughs> I try not to because I'm a diabetic and I can't eat too much sweets. Show me your kitchen. Okay, uh... Fully equipped? Yep. Yeah. Now see, what you I got... a lot of oats. No, what I do is I save it, and I, I put my cereal in it. Oh. So that way, you know, if there's some bugs around, they won't get in the cereal bag. And this is leftovers. Is this from last night? Yeah, it's from last night. You sure. prepared that? Yeah. And my freezer here, these are the meals I have, uh, the frozen meals. And my breakfast, I got the pancakes. Uh, and on the bottom, I, I have a few things. You're a good eater. You got fresh fruit. You got some canned fruit in there. But I can't eat it. You got too much sugar in it. Too much sugar. Being a diabetic, you Save know. Save that for guests. No, I give it away to the people in the building. I go down and put it in a community room, and whoever wants it takes it. Meals on Wheels makes the difference in many isolated seniors' diets, but it is often said that the daily visit from the driver is just as important. Luz Navarro, who we also met on our ride with Link Lincoln, was asked about Link, and her face lit up. He is nice. He is nice. Yeah. He has good heart. I always, I always say, oh, you, you have a nice clothes today. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Jeannie. Hello. How you doing? How do you like my glasses? Oh, beautiful. I love them. Uh, you can see me now? You can, you can see me now? Yeah. Okay. Have a good... You take it easy. Okay, you too. I wasn't important. I, whatever I was saying was not important to anybody. But I feel like now when I got a voice, I think what I say, I try to live right. You know what I'm saying? My, my mother taught me well. 
and uh, I got a lot of feelings. And so personalizing this handoff every day is really important. It's it, it very important to me. I, 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 do, I do like I want to be done to me. You know what I'm saying? My mother said, do unto others you want them to do unto you. And I try to live that way. You know? So, uh, you know, it's like uh, cause when you're growing up, you feel like you're nobody. You don't mean much. If, if someone makes you feel like you're doing something good, it makes, it's like food for your soul. You, you need it, you know. Next time on Hungry in the West End. We're here to provide. And if, if you're here seeking food, that's what we're here for, to help you supply your needs. That's what it's all about. You can learn more, read Jody McPhillips' stories, and watch extended interviews and other videos, including a ride through the West End with Don Link Lincoln at aarp.org.